In this video, we install a Hurley Davit system on a 2006 341 Meridian Sport Bridge. This Hurley H2O model allows you to store the dinghy flat on the back of the swim platform. You could even keep the motor mounted as you stored in this method. The mounting bars for the Davit system come in various sizes. For the 341, you need the 36 inch bars due to the small size of the swim platform. Here's our unboxing of the Hurley Green H2O. So the kit comes with two different bars. This would be, you can see this is uh, not as rounded as this mount. This would be the bow of a soft bottom dinghy and this is for the stern. And they make different types. If you have a hard bottom dinghy, they have uh, a more aggressive cut and bracket for the hard bottoms than they do for the soft bottom boats. So uh, they should work out pretty good. And we'll get those installed today. So there are some challenges to installing a davit system on the swim platform of a 341 Meridian. One is the swim platform is only 24 inches wide which limits your options. The most difficult part is identifying the correct location to mount the bars. The best way to do that is to inflate your dinghy and take some measurements alongside the swim platform. Some of the installation criteria you need to follow is you need to have at least 18 inches of the 36 inch bars mounted on the platform. You also need to have the bars at least three feet apart. Lastly, you need to make sure there are no obstructions underneath the platform in the bilge that would prohibit you from mounting the bars properly. When I was satisfied with the location, I drew some lines with a pencil to mark the locations of the bars. Then lifted the dinghy up on the platform. Instructions also say to mount the stern bracket closer to the engine, so you may need to offset the bars. They are not centered exactly on the rear of the platform. I ended up moving the stern bar a little further in from the initial location. This is the hardest part is lining it all up. The issue is there's no reference point for each of the bars being everything's curved back here. So it's an exciting day here in Shady Harbor. I got a taste test of one of the new drinks from the Boathouse restaurant. Thank you, Kathy. Alright, I think we're set. Measured everything a hundred times. About as good as we're gonna get. So it's time to take these off and start drilling more holes in the boat. Once I was satisfied with the bar locations, I took out my Sharpie and marked holes where I would need to drill for the bracket. I first drilled a small pilot hole to make sure I was drilling in the right location down on the bilge. Let's go look down below and see. All right, so it did go through. Let me show you your drill pilot holes first. It's not the spot we need. It'll be shifted up about two inches, maybe three, to hit that thick portion of the transom. You need to have the flat surface. So good thing I just drilled a pilot hole, but everything's got to be measured again. And I'll have to reseal that hole. Fun, fun. All right, so we're gonna need to shift this down three inches the hole. About here. That's the I mean, closest we could actually put it. That's unfortunate, but we have to do what the boat structurally could handle. You can see, instead of it being hollow like that, we pulled up some wood, so... We actually have some sort of wood core in there, so... That's a much better surface. But let's go check. Just make sure we're in the right spot again down below. Alright. 
So we're in a much better spot now, as you can see. You can see the old hole, the first hole I drilled, and then the second one, which is in a better spot. So uh, we're lined up good. So I'm just going to need to change some of the markings on the other bar, shift everything down three inches, and then we'll see how the bars make out. You want to mount the bracket as close to the rear of the platform as possible, because the further out you move it, the further out the bars will protrude from the stern of the boat and make it much harder to retrieve the dinghy. Next. This is the location I needed to place the bracket for the dinghy stern bar. I needed to move it at least four or so inches away from the cable raceway due to a stringer that was down below that would have been in the way. Make sure you always drill a small pilot hole first, even if you know the location is correct underneath. It helps guide the larger drill bit and makes it easier to drill through the material. I'm going to make a backing plate out of this piece of aluminum bar stock picked up at Home Depot. Having this bar to use as a backing plate down on the bilge will help distribute the forces that are pulling up on the bracket. It's much better than just using washers alone. Here's the view from underneath. everything lines up so we'll tighten that up a little later these small single round buttons help secure the rearmost part of the dinghy davit bar it's important you have these in the right location so that the bar is straight and parallel with the other bar See how that is. After sealing everything up top with 5200 and tightening down these bolts, I wasn't satisfied as the hollow core seemed to compress a bit as I tightened these bolts. So the plan was to use a larger board as a backing plate. So I took some rough measurements to get an idea what size board I would need to use as a backing plate. I transferred those measurements to a piece of cardboard to use as a template. I lined the cardboard up on the bolts down in the bilge and just gave it a little push so I could see where I need to drill for the bolt holes. Making the cardboard template made it very easy to transfer all the measurements to the board I was going to use. So I made my cuts, drilled the holes, and now it was time to give it a test fit down below. The board was fitting nicely, and it would give a lot more surface area for the bolts to pull back on. The next step was to take the boards home, sand, prep, glass resin the boards so they're waterproof, and give them a coat of paint so that they look good in the bilge. I gave them a nice thick coat of fiberglass resin. The resin makes it impervious to any moisture 
make sure you get all the surfaces completely covered including the sides and pay special attention to the bolt holes. Once the resin dried I gave the boards a few coats of a mold resistant exterior primer paint. I just painted the one side that was exposed that you could see in the bilge. This is really just for aesthetics and you could skip this step entirely. Once the boards were dried it was back into the bilge for the final assembly. A vice grip comes in very handy when tightening these bolts. I used it to hold the bolts as I tightened it with a box wrench. I still use the aluminum backing plate, the 2 inch washers, a locking washer and the nut to secure all the boards. Before making the final tightening of the bolts, install the bars up top on the swim platform so that everything stays aligned. Being I was tightening these bolts by myself, I used the vice grip to hold the bolts as I tighten down the nut. You don't want the bolt to spin when you're tightening it, or you could squeeze out all the 5200 and lose your seal up top. The board on the port side had to be drilled a little bit offset due to that stringer that's in the way. I use the same method to tighten the bolts on this side. If you had somebody helping you up top, they could hold the bolts with a screwdriver or a wrench depending on the type of bolts that you used. Don't over tighten the bolts. You don't want to hear any crunching and collapsing of the fiberglass core. I felt a lot better having this thick board as a backing plate for the davit system. And now the moment of truth. There's a small single cotter pin that holds the bar in place. Make sure you install that before you use these bars. If you forget to put that pin in, the bars could slide off while underway and you could lose your dinghy. There you have it. If you take this adapter out and turn it around, you could drop this down on a 90 degree angle if you wanted. And then I'm going to use ratchet straps on the cleats. After the dinghy is on the brackets, you need to use ratchet straps to secure the dinghy from bouncing off the bracket. Having the cleats in those positions on the back of the 341 Meridian is a perfect location to use for a ratchet strap. This 9 foot dinghy is a perfect size. It allows me to still get on and off the boat easily through the transom door. There's also plenty of room to walk past the dinghy to get to the other side of the platform. There's even access to the storage locker. So there you have it. That's the complete install of the Hurley H2O Davit system. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. And if you have any comments or suggestions, leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching.